Hello, welcome to the Dragon Eagle TV Youth Channel. Today we are going to talk about what is ultra processed foods and how to cut down its intake in our diet. Ultra processed foods are industrially formulated edible substances derived from natural foods or synthesized from other organic compounds. They are designed to be highly profitable, convenient, and hyper palatable, often through food additives such as preservatives, colorings, and flavorings. Ultra processed foods makes up over 50% of the diet in the United States. Things like candy, soft drinks, pizza, and chips do not contain enough beneficial nutrients. The more ultra processed foods we eat, the poorer the nutritional quality of our diet. Growing studies have shown that eating high amounts of ultra processed food is linked to great risks of obesity, asthma, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, heart attacks, and strokes specific cancers, all types of mortality, and early death. The actual food processing could also make a difference in how our body responds to it. Studies have shown, for example, that when nuts are eaten whole, our body absorbs less fat than when nuts are ground down and the oil is released. It is important to remember that not all ultra-processed foods are equal. When you include ultra-processed foods in your diet, choose those with more nutritional benefits whole grain bread and cereals or baked beans for example instead of chips, sweets, or pizzas. Reading food labels is also a beneficial habit. By doing so, you can easily identify and cut back on food with high sugar, salt, or saturated fat content. Here are some simple adjustments that you can adopt to cut down ultra-processed food intake in your diet. Eat fresh, unprocessed whole food and adopt a Mediterranean or a healthy Chinese style diet which includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, fish, nuts, beans, and whole grains. Cook at home more often. Dine with family and friends. Studies have shown that people who dine together often have better eating habits such as enjoying more vegetables, fewer soft drinks, and less deep fried food, as well as exercising regularly and avoiding smoking. Beyond health implications, the production of ultra-processed food also has significant environmental impacts. They require extensive processing and packaging and contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.